Let's continue reading from my book, A Thousand Saints, to hear you saw how I was saved by faith. Today, we are going to see some of the sayings that I used in the past to be where I am now, spiritually, mentally, and physically. From a thousand sayings that can hear you so. Let's see. For instance, what if I told you that there will come a time when people will lose hope in the things of this world? How? And why? Because people will figure out the truth, the truth of this world, and the truth that goes along with things, material things of this world. That truth will open the eyes of so many in a way they will understand heavenly things are more than material things. Again, as usual, if there is no truth in you, you shall not see God. Therefore, seek the truth, love the truth, share the truth so that you can be true to yourself first and then true to God. Next, what is the greatest thing you can ask God for? Well, wisdom to do the will of God and never, never, never let God down because God never let you down. So if you can ask God to bless you with the wisdom to do His will, this is the greatest thing you can ask God for. Let's see. Above all, if you are called by God to love and know have enough love for yourself and others, these are the things you can be grateful for. And thank God that He saved you from your downfall. These are the things you have to keep in mind in time ahead because the truth of this world is going to be known to everyone. Make sure you be ready and that you will not be taken by surprise because the time is short. You can enjoy now. But enjoy at the same time seeking the Lord, being true to yourself, so that you will not be caught by surprise. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon.